are back with my second guest. My second guest is amazing. I am so happy to have her here with me. Her name is Shivani Ray, and she is very inspirational. 17 years old, she's been everywhere on, on all kind of talk shows. She is a great speaker, amazing speaker, a beautiful singer songwriter. I mean, I am so proud. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. Welcome so to the show. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. And then today we're going to talk about how to create a positive mindset with music. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And let me, before we go into the teaching, I want everyone to know you a little bit more. Of course. So you inspired them like you inspired me. Oh, thank you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your background and what really um, inspired you to be where you are today. So I've been singing and speaking since about nine years old. I wrote my first song at nine and I emceed an event for 2,500 people at nine years old. And so I've always been exposed to the people. I've been exposed to music and spreading love is, is my whole thing about how to spread love with people and the the album came from our travels throughout India and so we we got to travel for five years and all the songs were inspired by what we saw now we saw all the great things like the Taj Mahal the temples and amazing people but we also got to walk through the slums of India mm -hmm. and those places are, are not an easy place for most people to walk through. But what's so amazing is that you walk through places like that and you see that kids, they, they, don't, they barely have anything, and yet they're some of the happiest people on the planet. Isn't that amazing? It really is. And, and for you to really experience that, that so many people, they travel, they go on vacation, but they don't get the chance to go see the worst places on earth, mm -hmm. to see how those other kids are living. I mean, I'm sure there is some people do that, some family, they take their kids, but not many. Mm -hmm. Most people, they go to Hawaii or yeah. they go to Disneyland, <laughs> they take their kids to positive things, which is good. But how we are going to connect with the generation, if it, the new generation, if they don't know what's going on in the world? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people tend to hide a lot of the so-called negative things. Mm -hmm. But there's beauty in everything. So nothing can, can you, you know, for example, you know, walking through the slums, as I said, most people would see the poverty and see the sadness. But if you look deeper, you see the little treasures of these little kids and how even though they're playing with sticks and tires, they're having the time of their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just lo those little precious moments that make you so grateful. And that's what Spreading Love really, I wanted to encapsulate, was the fact that there are so many things that we get caught up with in life. And if we simply take a step back and go back to love and spreading love, how simple and yet powerful it can be. And doesn't cost anything. It doesn't. I mean, you don't have to buy a, an iPhone to have love. No. To make, you know, it doesn't cost anything. It just feel loved and, and there's give no love. limit on love. And there's no, there's limit. no limit. Love is endless. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful somebody uh, from, I mean, my grandkids, maybe they listen to my story or they read my book or whatever it is. But it's different when they hear it from someone the same kind of age mm -hmm. to come back and tell them, hey, you know, there is something special about love. I want to teach you about love. I saw that. I witnessed that. Mm -hmm. How these kids, they didn't have anything, but yet they were so in touch with their soul. Yeah. Kind of. The, That's beautiful. One of my favorite stories is, so every year we go to India and we do this tour called the Mantra Tour. And... Uh, we, we, we've been doing it for the past, oh my gosh, since 2000, 2010, 2011. And we've go, gone to these places, these slums and orphanages, and we've sung to the kids. And we have fun with the kids and play with them and just really enjoy the moment. But what I found that was so fascinating was we teach the kids, you know, 
modified sign language or movements to some of the songs. Uh, for example, one of them that we used to sing and still do sing is Angel. And we go, Angel, Angel, you are an angel. I see an angel in your eyes. Oh my goodness. And years later, they still remember all the movements and they remember the feeling of the song. Wow. And that's, that's transformational. Because Absolutely. if we can take a song that uplifts somebody or makes them feel special and can anchor a emotion to that with movement, you know, you can have years of, down the line, you know, trigger the song and all of a sudden they feel like an angel. Uplifted again. And they feel like you uplifted. You know, they give hope, yeah. you give them hope and uplift it. That's what you're talking about, the music connection yes. with the positive uh, memories, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So my whole thing is how to use music as a positive tool. Now, when we come back, we are going to talk about that. This is very important. She's going to give you tools and techniques how to really use positive singing uh, for positive mindset. Mm -hmm. So we'll be right back. And we are back with this wonderful, inspiring, beautiful soul. Thank, oh, thank you so you. much for everything you're doing for thank the you. generation and connecting really the missing piece kind of. Thank you. In between our age and then the young. So you're coming right in the middle and that's why uh, you inspire me. And thank most you. people are very afraid of speaking on the stage and you spoke on you were on the stage with 500 people, excuse me. 2,500 people. 2,500 people, okay. And uh, how old you were you? I was about, I'm going to say eight or nine. Eight or nine. And, and most adults, they, they fear speak more than they fear death. Yeah. A you, know, you heard that before. Yes. I, a lot of people are scared yes. of public speaking. So something special about you. Thank I you. know your family supported you and everything, yes. but there is something special about you. Thank and you. that's why you're here because you. only experts, they come to this, uh, on this show and you are more than an expert. You're special. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. So I want you to share with everyone. What do you mean by anchoring your emotions? So it's actually more of Long's love of anchoring emotions to music or phrases. Because okay. as we know, music has tremendous power and impact on our bodies and our, our hearts and our minds. And, you know, studies have shown in Dr. Emoto's work how music and words can influence water. Well, we're 65% water. Mm -hmm. And so music influences us just as much as it does with a glass of water. It's a vibration. Exactly. We're all vibration. Yeah. And so my thought was, you know, I started off doing the, the modified sign language at two years old with my godfather. And, and he's a musician. And, and only years later, I realized what I was actually doing. I was anchoring a positive, uplifted energy and feeling to a song, which therefore at any time if that song is played or if I do the motions, I feel the feeling. Yes. And so imagine if you're, you know, you're feeling down or tired or stressed and you want something to quickly snap you out of it. Here's a simple, simple tool in the palm of your hands. All you have to do is pull out your phone, find a song that uplifts you, and encourages you, makes you feel confident, play the song. And if you want to take it one step further, you find a specific uh, phrase in the song. Maybe it's a couple lyrics. For example, people who are scared of public speaking. Yes. If they say, there's a song called Brave, 
and there's a the line in the song that goes, "Say what you wanna say." Mm -hmm. That simple line alone could lift you up. Could lift you up, and then if you want to take it even further than that, you actually use a, a, a motion or an anchor, as I say, um, and anchor that that thing. So, for example, for say what you want to say, mm -hmm. maybe say what you want to say. Mm -hmm. Simple. Just will release you from all this pressure. And in that immediate moment, you can get a total mind shift. It's so simple, it's so easy, and it's in the palm of your hands. And it's kind of like, uh, would it shut your other, uh, other fear and why and all yes. the questions? Yes. Kind of takes it away. You don't have time to ask yourself what it's, I'm doing. You just jump in it and exactly. do whatever you meant to do, right? And, and we use music for so much now, the past two years. Yes. Um, I was working with a company that they use music to uh, take people into a different state of being so that the lessons that they would teach them would drive deep. And so the same way it goes, if you use music to, to drive an emotion deep like happiness or if you're feeling down, lift you, up. lift you up, or if you're a little bit scared and you know you got clammy hands about something, you know, play the song that makes you feel confident, whatever yes. that may be for you. It can do wonders. Absolutely. They do some therapy music now, a lot of therapy music. I've done it before. Mm. And really, uh, uh, the vibration from the music heals you. Yes. It's, uh, they, they made a lot of study about that. Mm. So it is, it is very powerful what you're saying, what you're teaching. It's, it's uh, brilliant. Thank you brilliant. so much. So how people could find you if someone have grandkids, your kids, someone's kids and someone uh, looking for, uh, they want to uplift the new generation, whatever it might be, please, please connect with this beautiful girl. Thank you. Uh, I can't say it enough because it's, uh, it's something special about you. Can you give us your website yes. where they can? Yes, definitely. So if you, wanna, if you wanna look at the CD and see a little bit more about spreading love and the songs within it, you can go to spreadinglovemusic.com. And uh, if you want to learn more about me and my speaking and what I teach, you can go to ShivaniRay.com and follow me on my Facebook page, same Shivani Ray. Shivani, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate uh, you so much. Thank you. And I encourage you. I know you're not going to stop, but go more. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Do more, okay? And... Um, uh, we'll have you again on the show. Maybe next time we come up with something different. Of course. Right? I'd love to. <laughs> okay, we're going to be following up with you. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. And for all of you who's watching, thank you so much for being uh, watching this show. And uh, I, I, know, I, I know that you are um, have a lot of goals and have uh, a purpose that you're on this earth. And I encourage you to stay focused on your purpose. Until next time, take care.